Oh, you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Avengers Endgame Iron Man Mark 85 figure from Hasbro. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style that we've been seeing with all the Marvel Legends. You've got the black box with the blue highlights on this one. You've got the Legend Series logo up at the top. The figure's clearly displayed in the window packaging. You've got the Avengers Endgame logo and the name of the character down below. On the sides of the packaging, you've just got some artwork for the character. And then on the back of the packaging, you've got a brief bio, and I mean very brief with this one, for the character in multiple languages. And down below that, you've got to look at all the figures that you need to get in order to complete the Bro Thor build a figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Now real quick before we dive into today's review, I just want to give you guys a heads up that we've launched a brand new contest over on Toy News International where we're giving away a $500 store credit to Big Bad Toy Store. That's right, you heard me right, $500. It is a toy photography contest, so if you're somebody who dabbles in toy photography in any way, you'll probably want to check this out, and I will put details or a link to the details of the contest in the video description below. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, first of all, you get the left arm and then an alternate hand with the Quantum Watch for the Brothor Build-A-Figure. And yes, that is the, actually the official name, Brothor. And I will be taking a look at that Build-A-Figure in its own review once I've looked at all the figures in this wave. So be sure to check back for that. Next up, we get this Infinity Gauntlet or Power Gauntlet as it's called. And this is not actually for the Iron Man figure. This is actually for the Hulk figure, the Build-A-Figure they did in the last Avengers Endgame wave. So they, the way they've done this is it splits up into two pieces. And you'll just put this over the arm of the Hulk figure. And then you'll plug this in like you would a normal hand. And it comes together. Again, though, keep in mind this is not meant for the Iron Man figure. That would be much smaller. This is the bigger uh, gauntlet that the Hulk wore in Endgame. And here is that Build-A-Figure figure and I'll show you even though this isn't actually what he was wearing when he wore the power gauntlet he was wearing the jumpsuit but they made it for this figure nevertheless and what you want to do again is you just pop off the hand and then you put this piece on over the arm and then you plug in this uh, power gauntlet hand and it fits on there and does look you know it looks pretty good again it's kind of weird that they made it for this figure which is not the outfit he was wearing in the movie when he had the gauntlet but nevertheless there you go that's the only whole that we have from Endgame at this time. And then for those of you who maybe picked up that jumpsuit Endgame Hulk figure from ZD Toys, this is a figure that is sold overseas. But if you want to try and use the gauntlet that came with the Iron Man figure with this one, it actually does not work very well. First of all, you got this uh, piece that sticks out on the figure's arm. So that kind of limits your ability to plug the hand in. But also the peg is a different size. The peg on the hand is, is smaller than the hole on, on this particular figure so if you want to use a gauntlet for this figure um, as I mentioned in when I reviewed this figure you're better to actually just use the one the basic one the gauntlet that came with Hasbro's basic Hulk figure a six inch basic figure that one actually does work on this uh, ZD toy version now if you're wondering if you can use the power gauntlet with your build a figure Thanos figure from Endgame well, if you take the right arm from the Infinity War Thanos that doesn't have all the armor pieces on it then, and put it on the, the Endgame Thanos figure, then you can stick the gauntlet on that particular arm and you can make it work. Now, of course, he's still got the regular uh, gauntlet, which isn't really actually movie accurate on the other hand. But again, if you use the Infinity War arm for Thanos on your Endgame Thanos, then you can stick that power gauntlet on there. Now the remaining accessories are for the actual Iron Man figure. So first of all, you get two pairs of hands with this figure. You get a pair of closed fists, and then you get a pair of open hands. And with the open hands, you do have the holes in them so you can plug in the repulsor blast effects, which are also included, like we always see with all the Iron Man figures. And the detailing on these hands is pretty good. You've got the red, the dark red, and then you've got this uh, silver color. It's not really a metallic silver, but you know, it looks pretty good overall. You also have on the closed fist, you have a little bit darker gray on there as well. 
but you know for the detailing it seems to be pretty good and then finally the figure comes with those standard iron man repulsor blast effects so with this figure you actually get two sets normally we just get one set so i guess they included an extra set so you could plug them into both the feet for you know basically flight and then also into his hands and they are all the same length and color so they're exactly the same you've got that kind of rubber material so they might come out of the packaging a little bit bent at the tip and it's that sky blue color that translucent plastic with the sky blue color and then it gets a little more clear towards the tips and then again you just plug these into either the feet or the hands or again because they gave you two sets you can do both and here's a look at the figure with those effect pieces plugged into both the hands and the feet it would have been nice i think since they gave us two pair if they'd made one of the pair you know the effect piece is a little bit shorter i think you know shorter pieces look better in the hands and then the longer ones are better for the feet but as it is you know all of the these are exactly the same in the same length. Now for the figure itself, so first of all, this is a brand new sculpt. It's not like they took an older movie figure and just retooled it a little bit. This is actually a brand new sculpt. And I think Hasbro's done a good job here. From what I can tell, it seems to be pretty movie accurate. It looks pretty much like the armor in the movie. All the line detail and everything seems to be the same. Again, from what I can tell, I like the paints. You've got this metallic gold throughout a large portion of the figure on the arms and the legs and everything. And that actually comes off looking like metal. So I do like that. And then you've got this kind of grayish silver, uh, the lines throughout, which look pretty good. And then you've got the red colors. And I do like the fact that on the red, mostly, you know, it's very solid. There's not much in the way of marbleization. Maybe a little bit back here on his butt, you can see a little bit of marbleization there. But like definitely like here on his chest, it's very solid. And again, it looks like actual armor, not plastic. So I think Hasbro did a good job there. And then with like the arc reactor or the nanotech, holder or whatever you want to call it it is done with you've got this bright white on the edges and then you've got a little bit darker whitish color uh, in the middle there and when you actually get it in the light it actually kind of looks like it is lighting up so I, I like that there's no blue no neon blue or anything on this one um, but you just got the the gold the red and then that silver lining throughout so like I said sculpting detail seems to be pretty accurate to the mark 85 armor and how it appears in the movie and the paint applications for the most part seem to be pretty solid on this figure so this definitely strikes me as one of the better movie iron man figures that they've done in the line now if you're wondering if you could use maybe one of the unmasked tony stark heads with this new figure unfortunately the answer is no because the the ball on this new iron man figure is much smaller than what they've used on the previous iron man movie figures so you can see like the hole here on the underside of this head sculpt is just way too big to be able to fit on on this figure you could kind of sit it on there but it's just not going to really look right now this figure stands right at six and a half inches tall so here's a comparison. This is the Avengers Infinity War Iron Man figure from the box set with the Iron Spider-Man figure that just came out recently. And you can see here that, you know, they're the same height and everything, but I really like the way this new figure looks. You know, the reds just look shinier, looks more like armor. You get a lot more marbleization going on the chest area with the red portions on this figure. And then like the golds on this figure just pop a lot better than like on this uh, older figure, even though this figure again is not terribly old so just overall I, I think they did a great job with the paint applications on the new Iron Man Mark 85 now the one kind of disappointing thing about this Iron Man figure is they did not include any kind of weapon accessories weapon attachment accessories but if you do have that Iron Man from the Infinity War box set with the Spider-Man figure, you, know, you can take the shield and the wrist cannon and you can use it on this figure. It's not a perfect matchup, but I think it works well. Uh, you can't use the back piece, the back cannons, because there's no hole on the back of this figure to plug it in. But again, the shield and the arm cannon you can use on this Mark 85 if you wanted to. Here's a comparison of the Avengers Endgame Marvel Legends Rescue figure along with the new Mark 85. Here's a comparison of the Avengers Endgame Hulk build-a-figure with the new Iron Man figure along with the power gauntlet for the Hulk there. 
And some of you are probably wondering why we didn't get a power gauntlet for Iron Man himself. And that was asked of Hasbro during San Diego Comic-Con and their reasoning was they weren't aware of Iron Man's power gauntlet until they actually saw the movie. And at that point it was too late to be able to include it with this particular figure. Now here's a comparison of the Avengers Endgame Marvel Legends Captain America figure, the Walmart exclusive, along with the Infinity War Thor figure. We don't yet have an Endgame Warrior Thor yet. Hopefully Hasbro will get around to doing one of those. Here's a comparison of the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Thanos build a figure along with the new Iron Man figure. Here's a comparison of the Iron Spidey from that Infinity War 2 pack with the other Iron Man figure. Here's a comparison of the Iron Man from the first Avengers movie. This is the recent one they did for the MCU subline. And these are probably the two nicest Iron Man movie figures that Hasbro's done. You can see the MCU one though from the MCU subline is a hair taller than the Endgame version. And then finally, here's a comparison of all the Marvel Legend Iron Man movie figures that Hasbro's done minus the Hulkbuster figure. I didn't bring that one out but you get a look at all the various armors from all the movies over the years. And again, I think that MCU Avengers movie figure and then this new one are probably the two best Iron Man movie figures that they've done to date. The only downside with the Iron Man Mark 85 is that we didn't get more accessories. Now for articulation, it's pretty much on par with the previous Iron Man movie figures that we've seen from Hasbro. You can turn the head to the left and to the right. He really can't look down very much. That's about as far down as the head will look. And then he can look up about that much without popping it off the joint. So not too bad there. You really don't get any head pivot with this one. With the arms, you can get the arm out good there at the shoulder and you've got good rotation at the shoulder. You get the bicep swivel. You've got the double hinged elbow. So good bending there at the elbow. You've got rotation with the hands. You do have the hinges on the hands, but he really can't do the hand down. You can just do it back for firing his repulsor blast, which is good. You've got a midsection joint, though he doesn't really have any crunch movement there. He can look back about that much there at the midsection, and then you get rotation and a little bit of pivot there. You do not get a waist swivel with this one, and then with the legs, he can only do the splits about that much. You can get the leg forward only about that much, and then you can do the leg out and back. You've got the thigh swivel, you've got a double hinged knee, so good bending there at the knee, and then you have the feet with the hinges, so you've got some back and forth movement there, and you do get ankle pivot with this one, and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So like I said, I think this is probably one of the nicest Iron Man movie figures they've done for the line. I really like the way it looks, the fact that it looks more like actual armor and not plastic. I think Hasbro did a good job with that. The detailing on it is pretty movie accurate to me. Really the only downside here is the lack of actual armor attachments, weapon accessories, or the Infinity Gauntlet that Iron Man actually wears in the movie. I understand why they weren't able to include that, but I almost would have kind of rather they waited on releasing this figure so they could have included stuff like that as opposed to you know maybe possibly re-releasing a second version down the line with that stuff nevertheless like i said this is a pretty nice looking iron man figure and if you've been collecting all the movie stuff i think this is one you'll definitely want to check out now the wave with this figure has started to see a limited release but should be out in full force by early october we'll have a full image gallery up at marvelousnews.com there'll be a link in the video description below as always leave a comment let me know what you think if you're so inclined like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And of course, you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And I will be reviewing the rest of the figures in this wave over the course of the next few days, so please be sure to check those out as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.